Are you interested in mountain climbing? Ever thought what happens when there's an accident? To show you, we plan this specially staged rescue at Bethesda near Berzakoid in North Wales. The injured girl cannot move without pain, so one of her companions takes word down into the valley to the nearest hostel. The rest must stay. It's an invariable rule that where there are more than two in a party, one should remain beside the injured. Finding oneself alone when returning into consciousness adds to the shock of the injury. In the valley, trained rescuers can leave within a few minutes of being called. They carry the specially designed Thomas stretcher. Made from lightweight duralumin tubing, it looks rather like a toboggan. Extending handles and metal runners enable it to slide easily over rock, grass and heather. Splints, blankets and first aid kit are ready, strapped to the stretcher so that no time is lost in answering a call for help. Rescue teams are led by the warden of the hostel, together with other climbers staying in the area. Moving an injured person is a study in itself until the extent of the damage is known. Careless handling or any undue pain may bring serious complications. That's why the rescuers use extreme care. They keep every part of the body warm and lash it down to the stretcher so that no movement is allowed, however difficult the descent may turn out to be. Key positions here go to the rope men. One slip from them and the whole rescue can end in disaster. As they go down, they know that a doctor will by now have been brought to their hostel headquarters. There'll also be an ambulance on call in case the injuries turn out to be serious. All volunteer workers, Britain's amateur mountaineers, chalk up more than a hundred rescues a year. A very fine record. 